Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of the second season of Mob Psycho 100. Now last episode, you know, it was a pretty nice, wholesome episode, getting to see Mob do his best to uh, work hard for the girl he likes, you know, all pretty encouraging stuff, and then Mob goes home, do his house being on fire, and seeing his family burn to a crisp inside of it. So yeah, you know, you could say I was a bit surprised by that. You know, even once I saw the house on fire, I thought to myself, well, Mob's gonna go in there and look around and maybe get a clue about the, who took his parents and then head off to go to go find them, you know? Like, I was pretty sure that's where that was going all the way up until we heard, you know, Dimples say something like, Mob, don't look, and then I was just like, what, are you Are you serious? No, you're, you're messing with me. That's not where we're really gonna walk into here. And then we saw bodies on birth to a crisp, and yeah, you could say that shocked me a bit. But, you know... Since then, I've had time to think about it, and I think there's a good chance that this it's not what it looks like. It was faked, you know. Uh, I, th I think there's a chance of that. I don't think they would, the show would just brutally murder his parents and probably his brother, too, because it implied he, his brother was there, too. Like, it did imply that, so since I really doubt they would kill him off, and they are kind of making that into one big bundle... Like, implying they all died. I, I, that's my main reason why I think it may be a ruse of some sort. We are dealing with psychics. Anything's possible in this show. So maybe it may, may have been just trying to get some kind of reaction from Mob or... I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what, what happened there. But I do think... I am now 50-50 on that just being a, some sort of ruse. Not what it looks like. But, yeah, you know, either way we'll find out with this episode. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Of course, you gotta start off right with Mob's traumatic... Good moment. I really don't think that's gonna help too much, man. Okay, well, they explain that pretty quickly. Probably. But yeah, I mean, the main question is why they want to get a reaction of Mob. I guess just a bait him into coming after them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost destroyed the world there, so. Okay. Yeah, you pissed off Mob, that's for sure. The bodies may be fake, but mob, Mob's rage is real. So is that a hair. No, oh, he wasted no time. He got there fast. <laughs> that, was, that was an entrance. <laughs> I think you may have pissed him off. Just the, 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 the feeling I have. Hey, you set me off, Mob. I'm not actually gonna sing this song. I got close. It almost, it almost drew me in, but I'm not gonna do it. I can't sing. I'm aware of that, and I'm not gonna embarrass myself on the internet by attempting to. <coughs> it just it, it gets me close sometimes. This is one of those anime songs that does get me close. But yeah, that makes sense. Just throw some like dummies in there and use your psychic powers to put like a, you know, a mesh over it, a skin. A texture, if you will. Whatever you want to call it. It wouldn't be that hard for a psychic. But the only goal, the only thing you accomplish by doing that is pissing off mobs, so that must have been their goal. And he's not a guy you want to piss off, so I don't get that, really. I'm not gonna do it. Show me what you've got. Band together. Teru, are you gonna help? Oh. Uh. Apparently they're going after multiple psychics. 
<laughs> Excuses. It's like, yeah, I know that guy. He's downstairs. <laughs> He's behind you in that smoke cloud. Well, that's what I thought. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. He's a psychic. What kind of question is that? You think a little bitty bitty is gonna stop me, Misaka Mikoto? <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. You don't know what you're messing with. <laughs> Are you a masochist? <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's gonna go. You think it does? Will grammar? Is that all you got? <laughs> yeah, you're not worth my time. <laughs> Damn. And yeah, maybe you're the guy I should deal with properly. As well as got his electricity, then he couldn't affect the bodies. I think that was the implication there. A little bit slow to get that. <laughs> Impregnable, huh? We'll see about that. Not very psychic-like, but... <laughs> yeah, quit being a waste of time. His, <laughs> uh, his power is absolute. Oh. <laughs> well, so much for not being... for being impregnable. <laughs> yeah, this middle school is beating up this grown adult bodybuilder. You can't pass out. You haven't given me all my answers yet. Uh. Oh no, I'm so scared. Didn't I smack you against a building? What are you doing back? <laughs> okay. More like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not done yet. I still got more espers to interrogate. <laughs> That's kind of the scariest mods I've ever been. <laughs> Is Neo back there? Oh, that's the wrong show, but... Well, somebody's in trouble. Former Claw, okay. I guess the former is an important word there. Well, my family's somewhere. <laughs> uh... Well, I do love this, you know, this no-nonsense mob. Just like, I got a goal. If you're not helping me with my goal, then you are in the way. On the way to Hogwarts, I guess. Do I know you? <laughs> oh, that's a gathering. We got people from the, uh, that one institution from last season. I don't remember what it was called. Currently explaining the situation, as you should. Alone, I guess. Oh. Okay, so he's not sure about that. But he needed a calm down mob, so... We don't want to set mob off. I don't think he's gonna straight up tell him the truth. That might be a mistake. <laughs> okay, that's kind of what I figured. And he respects Reagan's opinion a lot, so... That would have been nice, if that's what happened. We still don't have all the answers, though. <laughs> he dropped down a lot. Yeah. Yeah, some of them clearly are. I do remember some of them. Not everyone, but some of them. That was a puppy girl, right? Hmm. 
<laughs> Master Reagan. <laughs> yeah, evil organizations usually don't. Harada. Still don't really remember him. Yeah, I do see the scars, so... A leader, you say? Wow. <sighs> yeah, it's it's questionable. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it needs it needs some renovations, all right. It's been a pretty bad day for everyone, really. <laughs> wow. It's funny. Oh yeah, the, the weirdo twin brothers. I guess it's a good day for you. Not for I don't know, for anyone else, though. Teru, you did make it out okay. I was hoping everything would go well for you. I had faith. <laughs> Need some torture time. Yeah, you're going back in the bucket. So, has your attitude changed yet? Okay, but specifically Japan, you know, mostly. Of course. <laughs> Let's leave him in the bucket. <laughs> yes, that's what you do in anime like this. You just leave it to the police to deal with. That's so interesting lighter. I kind of want one. I don't even smoke as I want one. Udo. You didn't come here for the anime? <laughs> That's interesting. Very interesting mid mid card. Suzuki Toichiro, 46. That's ancient. All those scars. Yeah, by just breaking stuff, that'll be beneficial to the world. It's a little bit, but you gotta have a dream. A drone. Oh wow, that's a cool psychic ability. Hattori. Pretty cool. You don't need to, as long as it gets a job done. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> yes, we can do much more than appear on televisions. <laughs> Someone's glued to the TV. <coughs> Some comments on there. Well, don't do that. I like that country.
dad. I can't remember all these names. Just. That is a question. Okay, so they are, they're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These video games graphics. That's what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great place. Yeah, like your family being dead. Yeah, yeah I don't think he's going to be too happy about that. Wow, that's small time. Yeah, I have a harder time in America, I assure you. <laughs> I guess so. Never stopped anyone before. A mutiny. They're not on a pirate ship. Okay, things are definitely getting rolling here. Ooh, getting big. That's kind of terrifying. I'm guessing he won't be able to put up a good enough barrier. Okay. I guess we'll see. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's okay. You can't lie to Suzuki. White noise is your attack? Okay. Well. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, have you changed your mind on that yet? Well, I envy all of you because I wish I had psychic powers. Miragishi. Yeah, that did not go so well. <laughs> yeah. Definitely got very violent very quickly. <laughs> Ultimate five. Well, <laughs> nope. Yeah, I think your uh, I think your mutiny here is not going so hot. <laughs> Damn, that was multiple walls. I'm going to have to rewatch this episode because a lot of details you'll want to pick up on.
like all the members of the Ultimate Five because I I didn't realize what that was until kind of too late to pay attention to who it, who was in it. It just the episode spiked in political intrigue very quickly. It's a little bit hard to keep up with all that. Yeah, he's all tuckered out. Mohawk. <laughs> Apologize to our master. Well, it's probably for the best. Nobody wanted to watch that anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, let's put an end to this. The other Ultimate 5 member, Shimazaki. <laughs> Please come quietly. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do anything against an Ultimate 5 member. <laughs> no, he's just purposely provoking you in a firing. To show how much better he is than you. <laughs> oh. So he is blind. No. Oh. <laughs> Please do. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. One of the best abilities. We already had Misaka Mikoto on the episode, so why not Shirai Kuroko? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, somebody came. <laughs> Teru. You do that. Telekinetic explosion. I mean, air web shouldn't be that helpful against a teleporter. Ah, chill cold. Yeah, I just <laughs> set him on fire. Oh no, he's right there. No, he's there. Uh, I'm sorry I gave you misinformation. He was there a second ago. Well, he called it teleported. <laughs> yeah, let's see you get past this. Wow, how is he already in there? I mean, I guess he could teleport. Up on the other side of it, I guess I should have seen that coming. <sighs> well, that was not a very good fight for him. That could have gone better. Because he wanted to show off, but it didn't go well. Did not go well at all. Wow, the, there's like a glare back there, so it looks like my cat is like a shining god or something. It's pretty interesting. That was an eventful episode, to be sure. Probably the most eventful episode in the show, really. A lot, a lot got moving here. Definitely an episode you gotta watch at least twice to just attempt to get everything. A lot happened. Uh. 
<sighs> okay. Okay. That was the ninth episode of the second season of Mob Psycho 100. And yeah, this episode, it was, it was exciting. Mob, for one thing, he got pretty, pretty upset, pretty, pretty, uh, you know, aggressive upon finding what he found. Luckily, Dimple was able to calm him down a bit by saying, hey, I don't think that's actually our parents. I'm pretty sure those are just like dummies made to look like them. Uh, so yeah, don't worry, Mob. I'm sure they're somewhere. They're fine. Calm, calm down. And, you know, we eventually found out that he actually wasn't sure about that. It was just speculation on his part. But the important thing was calming down Mob because otherwise just things, just the world would be blown up, I, I think, probably. But, uh, yeah, just so much happened. He left to go fight other psychics that he thought might be involved or know something and stopped caring about them as soon as he realized they were not the ones that did it. You know, getting picked up in a car, the car flying away, meeting up with other psychics that have run into trouble. Because, like, this, this is a big operation. Like, multiple psychics are being attacked and stuff. Even Terry got attacked and luckily made his way there eventually with, with this hostage, you know, to interrogate him, which was good. You know, luckily... Luckily, Reagan wasn't at home when they attacked. That's a good thing. But yeah, we got Claw rising up. We got, like, an internal faction of Claw trying to uh, mutiny of the coup d'etat or something. Uh, you know, because of the government infiltration. Like, it's a lot a lot to take in from that episode, to be sure. But we got former Claw members helping out. We got current Claw members, the Ultimate Five, which are pretty tough. That made pretty quick work of that attempt at a mutiny. You know, we got the Prime Minister having some sort of... You know, something that is, yeah. but we interrupted that too and captured the prime minister. So, which Terry kind of failed to do do much about that. It, a lot happened. A lot happened. To be sure, you know, I don't have a lot to say on it really, aside from that was pretty, pretty interesting stuff. A lot of interesting psychics shown off, especially the you know teleporting guy. He was pretty cool. His uh, eyes are like a uh, staticky television, where it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I don't really got a lot to say on it though, but it was a pretty, pretty good episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.